Hey there, welcome back. Today we are excited to introduce a new and free platform called the iCore Tool Finder. It's designed to help you discover the best tools for your business and your personal productivity. The iCore framework uniquely blends micro and macro management, offering you a game-changing tool finder for all your business needs. So let's dive in and explore how the iCore tool finder can help level up your work life. I'm so happy about this because this allows us to connect everything with everything. So the articles, with the videos, with the news, with the tools. But I think the important thing is here, it's not just a comparison platform as you know it from GetApp or other alternatives that you might know. It's the iCore Tool Finder. So it is all related to our iCore framework, what we teach inside the membership. So you understand really what tools work best for your productivity setup. And that was the ultimate goal and to make it as simplistic as possible. Because if you want to see details about a tool, you can go to platforms like GetApp, where you have endless lists of categories and things that shows you what this tool can do. Here, it's really about understanding the placement inside the iCore framework. So for our example, we introduced something called usability. So here we categorize the tools by, is it for newbies, explorer, who had already used some tools and nerds, if the tools are really complicated or hard to master. And here you see, for example, when you go for newbie, it's updating, you can combine the explorer and what would you expect when you click at nerd, right? These are the things that we consider being for nerds. So we already have, I think it's 69 tools in there and it's growing daily. And here we have now the other section, which is the complexity that shows how many features we have inside a tool. So for example, if you go for basic, Todoist is a very simple tool to learn. It has a lot of features, but it is not complex features that you have in here. But if you go, for example, to advanced, then you would see things like Smart Suite or Tana or Notion and all the explanations you will see in a moment when we click into the tool. I just want to complete here. Again, that's part of the iCore framework. We differentiate tools by core categories and satellite categories. And these core categories are the four that we say we can categorize any tool within any of these four. Of course, we could discuss if there are file management, document management, and other things as well. We played around with all this, but then we said, no, these are the four where not only the tools, but also the articles, the courses, everything will be categorized by these four core categories. So when we go to the articles here as well, they are appearing here and we will update the others as well. A tool finder that we have thought for business professionals, okay? Our main purpose is helping business professionals to find out the best tools depending on their use cases. And that's the effort that we have done to make something digestible as always and something easy to use and pragmatic. For us, pragmatism, it's one of our core values. And as you can see, you can perfectly get into this and get results from there. And I think that the exercise of synthesizing the things on the left-hand side panel and the tools that we have selected and how you can see just things that are important for you, that does the data on the left-hand side, it's the exercise that we have been doing to simplify the things to, to the best, okay? Thanks for pointing it out, Paco. The top filter, which is the most important one, inside our ICO framework, we consider both areas of your life. We know as business professionals where we work in our business, but then we have the personal micromanagement of the work that you have to do in business. And we thought about how we can connect this and understand how the tools work together in your personal productivity setup. And this is the solution here. And here you can now, for example, search for business tools that you can use in your business, for example, as project managers, then you would come up with this, okay? So you see, for example, your ClickUp, Monday, these are fully fledged project managers, but if you would go for personal, they won't appear here for project management. So for example, when we go for personal and we go for task management, here you see now the things like Todoist, but also Sansama that helps you and we call them satellite apps 
that help you to connect, for example, ClickUp and make them easy for you to micromanage your tasks that you have to do in the big project managers. We will talk a lot more about these things in the future, how you can connect all these things. And we just mentioned satellite categories, and this is what we have here. For example, if you want to have workflow automation, there you go. You have the automating tools, but I think it's important that we now click into one of these. Let's just click into Todoist. And this, again, the design is not final, but the functionality is working as we intended it. So you have the name, but then here we have again the core categories and satellite categories. And then you see the options that you have, that we have for each tool and the options that this tool has. So in this case, it's task management. And now you see when you hover over this, you get explanations. And the same is for usability. When you now hover over the usability, you get a, the definition, how we defined why this is for newbies and what this means and how we categorize this. But here, this is the ICO framework that we mentioned, where you have on the left, the personal project management. Then here you have the business project management. This is the business knowledge management, and this is the personal knowledge management area. And you see the overlapping parts. So we could now say to do is could be overlapping with business project management and personal project management. So it would be here in the middle, but I think mainly to do is is used for micromanagement. It's just best to organize personal projects rather than teams. That's our subjective rating that you have here because we consider for business professionals then to do is is for this. And I want to now go to a business and we select business knowledge management, for example, and project management. You see there are things coming up that have both. And if you go in here, now you see this is project management and business knowledge management overlapping. So this is a tool that having options that you can handle both in one tool for your business. For micromanagement, we don't consider ClickUp as a good tool, a good solution. Here again, if you go now, we say complexity is very high. Is it something bad? No, but it can be overwhelming. So that's what we want to point out here with complexity and usability. It's for people who are used to use project management. So that's where we think it, it starts to really nicely work, the ratings that we have, and we will further optimize the iCore Tool Finder here. All right, what do you think about our iCore Tool Finder? Go and check it out on papersmovement.com and let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. We're just getting started with the iCore Tool Finder. There are a lot more things to come. And if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I catch you guys up next time. Mm -hmm.